Now, they also traditionally might say something like, this story camps here, when you first start telling the story, like the story is visiting. Now, this story I'm about to tell, there are many versions of this. They are told in many different ways, and they're found throughout Eastern North America. Some folklorists call this type of story the lucky hunter, just for an idea of where we're going. So long ago, there was an older couple who lived on the outskirts of their community. And the husband was kind of lazy. He wasn't really, I don't know, maybe he's not hunting and fishing. And they're probably, they probably were just eating like plain corn mush every single day. And his old wife was getting very tired of this. And so she asked her old husband, she was like, you need to get out and go fishing and go catch something. It's nice out. It's good fishing weather. And I'm sick of eating nothing but corn mush in the day. So he reluctantly gets a bird claw fishing hook and he goes down to the river banks and he digs up a little grub and he puts it on the fish hook. And he goes, now keep in mind, they didn't have reels. They just cast out the line. Sometimes they would have a pole. He casts, he goes, does a big cast and right, he's about to cast forward. He feels a big yank and he pulls really hard and he turns around and he tugs in and he pulls in like a 30 pound tur wild turkey that had grabbed onto his hook to get out the grub. Now, that this story, by the way, was recorded in the 1880s, but one of the Dutch settlers here in the 1650s described, and this is the only time in history, as far as I know, that this was described, he described Native people trapping turkeys with hooks on lines, with tra as basically leaving them out with bait on them. So this story is hinting at a practice that was done long ago. So he catches a turkey on a hook, and he was kind of annoyed with the turkey, that the turkey interfered in the first place. 